Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And for this week's video, I am just going to sit here and chit chat with you guys. And it's been like really long overdue for me to do this video um, where I kind of talk about why I share my life like on social media and you know, do YouTube videos and post a lot like on Instagram and just basically everywhere I think I post um, pretty frequently. So um, I also have a bl uh, blog and that's like the reason why I started the blog. So um, yeah, I just think it's time for me just to talk about it. I just want you guys to know like the meaning behind all of it all. Like I'm not just another person trying to just like show off their life or show off herself like it's nothing like that so that's why i thought like it's perfect for me to do a video like this and i could i should have done it like a long time ago and who knows how long i'll be posting like videos and posting on social media who knows if on the long run that's going to be something that i'll be doing but for now it is something that i want to be doing and that i love to do and i enjoy doing so because of that this is the explanation of why and um it is a testimony video because i'm going to be talking about how god has been really good in my life and how he uh, showed himself in my life because a testimony a lot of people think of testimony being how you came to god and it is that but it's also like acts of god acts that god did in your life for you to just testify and tell people about so they can hear about God's goodness and how he has worked in your life, you know? And so that's what I'm gonna be doing here. So yeah, let's just let's just start, I guess. <laughs> All right, so I've been a Christian my whole life. Uh, my family uh, became like, or accepted Jesus Christ as their savior when they were uh, when I was like four or five, so I that's why I say I've been a Christian my whole life. I've been in church my whole life um, I've been you know, I've been in ministry since like I think 14 15 I started being in like the worship ministry I started teaching kids so I've always been in church all the time Have I've had like the most perfect life and have like the lifestyle where I don't do anything wrong No, trust me I'm a sinner like everybody else, but you know, God's grace is good and he forgives and he shows us what's wrong and what's right. He allows us to get back and uh, he forgives us. So yes, I have not been perfect. I'm not saying that, but I have always had a relationship with God, which I'm very proud of because, you know, I mean, I love God and I love being able to serve him and, you know, show how much I love God. So based on the title where I say, I was supposed to, I'm supposed to be dead. Um, I think like, like, yeah, I could have been dead. And there I have experienced three times in my life where I should be dead, but I'm not because God's good and I am here for a reason and have a purpose in life. And my purpose is obviously to give glory to him. And that is through testifying and that is through this video testifying how god has been good and how he has saved me so i guess let's just talk about the three times that i could have died so <laughs> the first time that i guess could have been the reason for me not to be in this earth is before i was even born so my parents were actually thinking of aborting me and I actually found this out like later in life. I think I was maybe 15, 14, 15, 16, around that time. I was randomly thinking of my parents and when they got married and when I was born. And I was not born nine months after their wedding. So I was like, wait a minute, mom, I had questions. So I remember that that night, my dad has a conversation with me and I've had so many conversations with my dad, um, you know, growing up. And so, well, this is one of them where he tells me that uh, my parents were actually going to abort me. Well, when my parents were dating, um, obviously, you know, this is before they were right with God and stuff. And, you know, they were doing things and my mom ended up getting pregnant. And she was really scared because her dad was really strict. And so... Um, 
you know, that she, she, what my dad tells me is that she was really, really scared and she just didn't think she could tell him and she just felt like that, you know, maybe she wasn't gonna be able to have a baby that young, especially not being married and especially not telling her dad because again, her dad was really strict. Um, but then I guess my dad, um, he said, he tells me that he just felt like this really intense, like feeling that he shouldn't let my mom do it so when my mom was at the clinic about to get it done my dad was able to see her before it happened and tell, told her to not go through with it that they will go through this together that he will marry her they will get married nobody's gonna find out that she's pregnant and so yeah nobody found out my mom was pregnant um and she was able to hide it she was really skinny when she got married so nobody saw it and they got married and I was born <laughs> so um, that was the first time and to me that was a very like emotional like moment because not because I ever ever thought that my parents didn't want me or love me because that is so far from the truth it's more of a wow like I could not be here I could I was this close you guys to not being in this world um yeah that was that was pretty pretty like intense and something interesting and wow like just makes me think that god is so good because there's one like one check of you're supposed to be in this world for a reason like you have a purpose in life and that just reminded me that i have a purpose in life all right and then the second time that i could have died it was a car accident so i was 18 and i was going home from community college and i get in a really bad car accident where i'm not even going like super fast i think i was like 25 miles per hour and another car was going super fast like 70 miles per hour and they ran like um a light and hit me like i was turning left and they hit me so um that was pretty bad but nothing happened to me no bruises no scratches i was sore I'll, like that's normal but nothing happened to me because god was protecting me and yeah that was that was the second time that i could have died and i could have died because it was a pretty big hit i didn't have like the greatest car in the world it was an old car and um at, a, at that speed it you know definitely could die but i do believe that again i did not die because i was meant to be here in this world for some more time because God was still not done with my life and so there's the second time and then the third time I could have died now this one is like really intense that even I still freak out about it because it was the most intense thing I've ever experienced and it was another car accident but this car accident was like by myself I was with my sister I was driving it was really dark I have really bad eyesight you guys and I had again a really old car it's a different car um, and I was driving on a street that I never really used to drive through so um, I couldn't see my lights were since the car was so old the lights were really dim and I just remember falling I literally drove into a ditch and I fell 30 feet into the floor into the ground and I just fell like straight down and that one for sure like I don't even know how I came out of that alive and again nothing nothing broke I was not hurt and what's crazy about that accident is that I saw everything I had my eyes open the whole time I was holding onto the wheel so tight because I was so scared and it was like the most slow motion experience ever and I just like I literally feel I felt that night and I just remembered it so vividly because again I was like my eyes were open that's it felt like i was like carried like lifted and yeah i was falling into like you know the other side of like the wall but it felt like i was like lifted and carried to crash nicer if that makes sense um i don't know it just feels like i was kind of flying for like i don't know it just feels weird but because of that like my car didn't flip and i wasn't squished to death or anything else a cop came and talked to me he was like i don't know how you're alive there's been six accidents in this ditch this whole year and you are the only one that has survived he straight up tells me that and i was like i just had like goosebumps and just felt like 
I don't know, like it just felt like in disbelief that I was alive. I was still in shock and for him to tell me that just made me want to thank God. Like, oh my gosh, God is so good. Like what? How? How has there been this many car accidents here and I am the one that doesn't die? Like what? So yeah, um, <laughs> okay, hold on. I get really emotion, emotional when I talk about how God is so good. So give me a second. <laughs> don't want to cry. <sighs> Dang it. Dang it. I don't want to cry. Okay. Um, all right. So after that accident, I was already 19. It was the end of the year. I think it was December when that happened. Um, and yeah, I just, Ever since then, I'm not saying that I've never felt this way, you know, like I've always felt the need to like live my life for God. But ever since that accident, specifically that accident, um, I just knew, like, I know that I'm not done, that my, like, my work here is not done because obviously I would have died if that was the case. I can like realistically say that I could have died three times, but I haven't, and that's because my work here is not done. And so ever since that accident, I just knew, I had like this huge desire to know more of God and who he is and know more of what my purpose is. Like, you know, what? why am I here? What am I supposed to do? So, you know, after the accident, like, like the, the fire of after the accident, because I had that fire for a while of like, oh yeah, man, God is so good. And, he saves me and I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna worship him and I'm gonna serve him this way and serve him that way. After that fades away, like faded away a little bit, you know, went back to my normal routine, going to church on like twice a week, serving in the worship ministry, serving with the kids ministry, just basically what I've done my whole life. So what has been different? Nothing. I've done that my whole life ever since I was 15 when I started serving in church. Like. That's what I've done. So nothing has changed. And then, you know, I met my husband and we served together, which is awesome. And um, yeah, like, you know, we got married and we've been serving together and we've been just doing, I feel like we've been doing what we're supposed to be doing, if that makes sense. Like we've been doing um, what God wants us to do. But for me personally, I feel like I have this really big feeling like I'm supposed to be doing more. And I just always felt like that, like, man, I just know I'm supposed to be doing more. I just have like this huge feeling in my heart that I need to do more. But what is more? I'm already in ministry for worship. I'm already teaching kids about God. I'm already, you know, serving at two churches for a time i was serving at two churches my in-laws are pastors so we were helping them and then we were at my church that i grew up in and i was we were doing ministry there so we were literally like i was like doing everything that i could but i still feel like i needed to do more you guys like i just felt like it like i just had to and um do i feel like i need to be a preacher no i don't feel like i need to be a preacher and my you know if god calls me to do that then i'll do it but i don't feel i don't feel like the calling for that and then I just realized that we we live in a world where social media is huge like you guys know social media is basically life right now like everybody's using it young people are using it old people are using it everybody is knows how to use it and i hit like i feel like that's just normal now and it's going to continue to be like a thing i mean we're in the middle of pandemic and how do we do church right now through social media youtube people are posting lives and you know like that's just where where we're at and so i you know you guys know i talked about me losing my job um, in the beginning of this pandemic and I just knew that this was the perfect opportunity to commit myself to social media but not to please others but to please God and this is why I am doing what I am doing I just feel like I love God so much like I love him so much I just don't know how to explain like the way I love my child the way I love my husband I love God even more than that like it's just like this fire inside of you and 
that fire just needs to like be shared and I want to share that fire I just feel like I have this passion for social media and I have this passion for God so I was like let's bring them together I want to be able to show you guys that a life following Christ is not boring I do not feel like I live a boring life I do not feel like I'm missing out on anything I don't feel like I need to be like out there partying and you know doing all these crazy things and I don't feel like I need to be dressing a certain way to feel sexy like not at all and so I want to show the world and I want to show you guys that you can feel this way and like you can I just want to show you guys that you can have fun in this crazy life and still be a Christ follower and not conform to this world whatsoever because that is not what I want to do. I do not want to conform to this world. I don't want my soul to be for this world. I want my soul and my life and my heart to be for God and I want to share it with you guys. And you know, the way I do it is not by shoving God to your face like you know, reading the Bible to you guys and scripture, scripture. Yes, I will be sharing scripture and yes, I will be testifying like I am today. And yes, I will be sharing worship music on my Instagram like I do on Wednesdays. And I will like, you know, be doing things here and there. But I want to show you guys what life is like when you have God in your life. And I'm showing you that through like my videos, through my vlogs, through my pictures on my social media, through my relationship with my husband, through my relationship with my family. And I want you guys to have that too. And I want you guys to feel what I feel. And the only reason why I feel this way is because I have like God in my life and I am so in love with him. And I want you guys to fall in love with him. And I want you guys to know him. And yeah, so the reason behind all my social media is because to glorify God and I want to glorify him in everything that I do. I want to glorify him the way I speak. I want to glorify him in the way that I dress. I want to glorify him in the way that I act. I want to glorify him in the way I raise my kids in every single way. And I want to share that with you guys um, so you guys can get inspired, if that makes sense. We live in a world of influencers and I want to influence you guys to live a life for Christ and to show you guys that it's not boring. I feel like the world has this idea that Christians are so like, closed-minded and so like reserved and all that but that is so far from the truth we like christians know how to like have fun and love god all at the same time and i want to show you guys how to do it and that is my testimony and i hope that you guys can see god's light in my life and i hope you can see god's love in my life and i hope you guys can see God's love in your life. I hope you guys can see that God loves you and that God wants you and that God wants you to like serve him and to glorify him in everything that you do because that is the reason why we were created in the first place. Only reason why we were created for this world is so we can glorify God. That's why we were created in his image, to glorify God. And yeah. So the purpose of our life, the purpose of my life, the purpose of your life is to point to God no matter where you are, no matter what you're doing, no matter what you wear, no matter who you're with, that is our purpose. And to close out this video, I am just gonna share scripture. So this Bible verse, I'm gonna share share with you I'm gonna share with you guys a contest. So this Bible verse is for the apostles that you know were with Jesus when Jesus was ascending. Um, they were asking him questions and they were basically asking like when uh, the the they were gonna Jesus was gonna free Israel and restore like the kingdom but Jesus said that God knows when that's gonna happen and God only God will know when that's gonna happen so every time we talk about like God is gonna come and God is near and it's because you know that's what's you know that that's like kind of like re that's related to this passage Anywho, that's besides the point. So then Jesus tells them that their job as, a, as um, followers of Jesus, of followers of God, is Acts 1 verse 8. But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, and you will be my witnesses, telling people about me everywhere in Jerusalem, throughout Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. So basically, I'm saying I am, I am an apostle. I am basically here. I am here, and I am receiving these orders from Jesus that I am meant to be telling people about who he is everywhere that I go you know no matter who I'm with and so 
that is what I'm doing. That is the reason why I even share anything that I share and why I share my life. Um, again, it's to shine God's goodness into you know your guys' life, for you guys to see how God, good, how good God is and what He has done in my life. And He has saved me three times from dying. I am here. I am alive. I am living for Him. This is the reason why I did that I do. I know I've said that like a gajillion times, but it is what it is. It's my purpose. This is my purpose. This is what I feel like I am meant to do. I know, Well, not what I feel like. I know I'm meant to do that. I know I am meant to tell people about God. And so, yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm telling you about God. And I'm telling you that you can have such a fulfilling like life. So, and that's only by coming to Jesus, by accepting Jesus and living for him. When you do that, you will have such a fulfilling life. I'm not saying everything's gonna be perfect. You are gonna have hard times and you are gonna go through crazy times. I go through times of anxiety and times of fear. And trust me, those are not fun. Like, oh my gosh, they're the worst. They are the worst. That is my battle and you will have your battles. But the difference is that when you have God in your life, you will learn how to cope with those battles and you will learn to glorify him even in battles, if that makes sense. But that is something that you get when you fully commit to God and to the Lord and your life to him. And I really, really, really hope you know that this kind of inspires you guys to do that and live life for him. And it's not gonna be perfect and it's not gonna be pretty. Sometimes people are gonna judge you. People are gonna criticize you. People are gonna think you're fake. People are gonna think that you're not genuine in anything. But you know, only God knows your heart and God knows your life and you know, your intentions so that's all that matters at the end but i hope you guys enjoyed my long chit chat um and i hope you guys were blessed and you will be seeing me on youtube you'll be seeing me on instagram if you don't follow me on instagram it's down below if you don't follow me on any of my platforms you guys my blog i share devotionals that i do on there if you guys need help with devotionals you guys can go ahead and follow me on my like devotional journeys there follow along in the journey you know let's live life for god and you know just to glorify him and that is our purpose that is all of our purpose everyone's purpose in life so um yeah i hope you guys enjoyed subscribe like share i don't know this is kind of like scary for me to even film and say and i hope it made sense because at some point i kind of blinked i was just talking but i hope it made sense and i hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you guys on my next video <laughs> bye